Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at this. So it's February in Michigan, colder and all, get out out there. So um, hey, it's got to be at least around 20-some degrees for me to get out there flying. And it's not. It's in the single digits. So what I'm doing is I'm starting another project now. Uh, you might remember from the, sort of the demise of my first up air that I still have a lot of parts and I decided... Heck, why don't I just go build my own quadcopter? So I, I looked on the internet and I came across the S500. So I looked, you know, kind of a little bit between the Terret Iron Man and this, and I decided to start out a little bit smaller. Now, one of the things, speaking of smaller, I'm a little bit surprised at the size of this box because I expected this to be a little bit bigger. This said it's a 500. Now I know it comes in parts, and when I say 500, 500 millimeter copter. So, anyways, just kind of wanted to share a little bit of the box size, so you, what you can expect. So it's about 11 inches, or about um, 28, 29 centimeter, centimeters. I don't know. For some reason, the grammar police have been kind of picking on me for the way I say a certain things like uh, calipers versus uh, calibers versus calipers, etc. But you guys get the point. So it's about seven inches by about. Uh, a little short, about 17 and a half centimeters here, so uh, a little bit smaller. Oh, and how tall is it? It's about uh, two inches or about five centimeters tall. So you open up the box. Um, apparently it comes in colors, and I think that's the arm colors. So it's a black one, which is what I ordered, so that's a good thing. And it appears to be uh, pretty nicely packed in here. Now, one of the things, I did order the one with the carbon fiber legs. And let me try to open this up here. Kind of share all this with you. Uh, so, this one has the carbon fiber legs, which I really like, versus the plastic legs. And, by gosh, these are... I, I, I wish you could feel this, how light this is. This is almost like nothing. So, now, this is carbon fiber... They're supposed to be carbon fiber, and it looks like it, and it feels like it because it's extraordinarily light. So here are the arms of the beast, and this is uh, obviously what the motors mount to, and uh, it comes with four arms. Now, one of the pieces that I like about this, let me move some of the parts out here. These are the legs. Uh, looks like it comes with a bunch of screws, which is good. Um... Uh, and then let's see, this, this is probably going to be all sealed up, so I have to go see, I have to get a knife to unseal. Okay, so cut the package open, and we have two uh, PC boards here, PCB boards. So the one nice thing I, I liked about this is it has the power distribution on the board itself. So the idea is you solder your battery connectors and all your motor connectors and everything here. So this acts as your bus for the copter. And then this mounts below here, and then this is where your um, your legs here mount to. So this kind of goes in here and then bolts to it. Now, you kind of see that, and what kind of what I wanted to show here, if I can now fit all this into frame, is roughly how big this is. Um, so this is actually uh, about... Um, about 20 and a half inches from arm to arm. Now to give you a perspective, I've got the top of the up air that I crashed and that's only about 15 and a half. So if we kind of compare the two like this, uh, it is a fair amount bigger than, than the up air or the Phantom would be. So again, I'm very excited about doing this build. Now, um, one of the things, I'm really not exactly sure yet how I'm going to go about it. Now, I have ordered a complete set of uh, Arduino Pilot uh, control boards, uh, OSDs, motors. Um, it's Chinese New Year, so uh, unfortunately it's going to take a little bit for, it to, for them to ship it here. Um, but once I do get it, uh, I'm thinking about doing that or utilizing the control boards and stuff from the crashed up air, which was originally my plan to do something like that until I, I discovered this. So I'm not sure how I'm going to go exactly yet, so I'll figure it out. I also ordered a new FlySky um, 6S radio, too, to go with this uh, to, to drive all that. Because one of the pieces that I want to do, and the reason I went with this type of copter design is as you see this undercarriage piece here on the instructions which um, you know have the parts here and here um, then you have the tubing down here making an excellent platform 
for larger video cameras, if you will. And that's one of the things that I want to do. I want to be able to fly 360 degree cameras on this skin facing forward. I want to be able to fly my near infrared cameras on this. Um, and get some you know interesting pictures so I really want to experiment with this platform and see what I can do and then possibly from here go up to the uh, Terrett Iron Man say like uh, 650 or the 680 you know um, hexacopter type uh, format that gets some really big lifts so this will be an interesting experiment so look for this in the future but again kind of wanted to share a little bit of brief unboxing with you guys and maybe a little bit of some of the experimentation I'm going to give this a shot because I've always wanted to build my own quadcopter now I am going to probably do I am going to definitely do a series where I assemble the frame show you guys how to do that so it's it's kind of out there um, and the second piece is, uh, you know, so I've been binge-watching Painless 360 RC or whatever the heck's channel's name. Great channel. Um, don't intend to compete with that, but I do, sort of in fashion of my other channels, uh, probably will do something to augment it. So, you know, he goes into great detail about, you know, how to configure each step. I think I'm going to do uh, a, a video series when I go to build this that's sort of a level up from that. In other words... Um, I'm not going to get into the deep details, but I'm going to show you the aggregate of how it goes together and some of my thinking of, of why I did things certain ways and then how, how did they come out. Because again, that's what a lot I'm trying to do on this channel is not really to get into really deep tutorials and lectures, but to kind of share, you know, this is my idea and this is how it worked out. This is why I did it and this is the results. Uh, so you can make your own decisions and use that as a basis for, to come up with your own ideas and inventions and things like that so not to be a, a overall tutorial so don't look for a, a, a tutorial but more so hey this is what I did so anyways I've rambled enough um, so this is what I got uh, look for some videos on this in the near future if you get any questions for me uh, hit me up below I also have the link to this I got this on eBay there's a couple eBay sellers they all seem to be roughly the same I'll have links to all that below and uh, hey Subscribe button's coming. If you're not a subscriber, please do. Got a lot of stuff coming, uh, especially as we approach spring and summer. Uh, really kick it into high gear. And hey, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.